haven't made like anything in a while. Been feeling kind of bored. I want to get back on this grind. So I'm just going to start like pumping out videos. I'm going to try to do one a day from now on. Uh, I just got bored and uh, I don't know because I, I got like, I felt like I didn't want to like, uh, you know, make the same type of video over and over again. Just talk about one thing or just stay in one type of category. So I'm going to be doing different types of videos. I'm not just going to do like anime and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm, I'm going to make different types of videos. Just give you my thoughts on things. I'm just going to talk over some gameplay that I have. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, I wanted to talk about the dynamic between Sanji and Zoro, okay? I'm going to make a whole video called The Life of Sanji and just go throughout the whole series of, of One Piece and just like the character of Sanji, just how he evolves, how he grows, all the things that he goes through and how I felt about it as a watcher of the anime, even though my opinion is not that great, but... I started off like in the watching One Piece, and the first thing was like, oh yeah, yeah it's Luffy, you know, it's whatever. I don't, I don't really know what to feel about him yet. I hated Kobe because he just reminds me of every single main character shown in. Say, oh my God, you're so annoying. Just be quiet, you know. I just didn't like Kobe. Then we met Zoro, I'm pretty sure, and Zoro was dope. Yeah technical badass it's just a regular guy the sasuke the the levi the you know the, the the prepared person to make you like him it's like he's a character that the author wants you to like so the author writes it that way on purpose people people know that and still like him like me i know that and i still like him because i think he's a cool character you know that's how it was and i'm like nami i'm like i don't really know how to feel about nami i don't really like her i don't like dislike her it's just uh, i'm just kind of feeling in the middle and then finally Sanji comes up, and I kind of like Sanji, and I'm like, yo, this dude is a bit of a savage, because, like, the first thing he did was, like, kick some guy out for not eating food or some shit like that, and I'm like, yo, he's on demon time, and, like, he's really not about to, like, stop for no, like, he, he's like, I'm following my morals, and you can't say shit about that, and it's like, the, the people that above him were, like, yelling at him, but, like, you gotta respect somebody for following their own morals and sticking to them and not like following like everybody else, not being a sheep, you know? So I liked them. And time moves on and we see more of his character and he just becomes more and more of a simp. And Zoro just becomes more and more edgy. And yeah, I just started like edging towards Zoro more than Sanji because realistically you can like both of them. But it's just like you always gotta like choose one i don't know why it's just like there's a divide like if you're a zoro fan you have to hate sanji and if you're a sanji fan you always have to defend sanji because zoro fans are shitting on him like it, it makes no sense but these days i feel like the sanji fans are like kind of on top not on top but like there's just a bunch of toxic toxic zoro fans so that allows the Sanji fans to be toxic, so like everybody starts getting toxic, so it's kind of annoying, so I just don't like it. But as the story goes on, I start like liking Sanji less and less, and I start hating his character more and more. You know, I just like, like oh my god, this guy's so annoying, but why can't this dude like do something? And then what really hit the nail in the head, and I know a lot of people want to grab me with on this, is when he went to Whole Cake Island. And people are going to be like, well, it's like, why did you, you, I swear to God, this dude was there when Robin went, he said, I don't want to sacrifice these guys, I'm going to take it on my own, and then Luffy and everybody came to save her, and it's just like, okay, and then Sanji goes and does the exact same thing, I know the premise is different, ah, blah, 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 his, his dad, or his, his adoptive dad, or somebody who sees his father, Zeph, was being held captive, and Blah, 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 but it's essentially the same thing. You wanted to take on all your burdens by yourself, even though you have nine other people who love you, who want to be there for you. And to me, it just feels kind of selfish. It's just like, when you're so in, this is like, this is about life as well. When you're so in your head and you got so many people around you that care about you and all of that, you forget about all of them. You want to take on your burdens by yourself. 
it's just not a good look. There's so many people around you. Tell them. Talk to them. Do something. Don't just sit around and try to tackle whatever you have by yourself when there's somebody right next to you willing to help you out. People, humans, they desire social, social, like, being social. Like, you need, you can be an introvert, an extrovert, it doesn't matter. You need somebody, like a social, you need that social interaction in your life. Otherwise, you're going to be so depressed and you're going to have so much anxiety and all that bullshit, right? So, what it reminded me of, it's just like, like, it reminds, it reminds me of somebody, like, who's going through something in life and doesn't want anybody to help him out. He feels like, oh, yeah, I'll tackle this on my own. And I kind of fault him, but at the same time, it's brave to do that. It's like, you know what? I don't want to involve anybody because I fear for their life. Because this is, this is just not just anybody. This is a young girl. All right? Even though the government is not just the government, they're the government, you know, because... He, he technically went to Annie's lobby. No person has, like, ever done that before other than Luffy, but... I'm talking about Luffy now, but now Sanji. He's... I don't know why he did this. I just don't know why. And... I was so conflicted. I didn't know how to feel about it. At first, I kind of didn't like him for it. Then I was just like, you know what? He had an excuse and blah, blah, blah. I just kept feeling... I don't know how to feel about it. I still don't know how to feel about that matter, but... Yeah, so uh, I I don't I just I just don't know how to feel about him. I feel like Sanji really uh, he just did what he thought was right, and as human beings, you do that sometimes. You just see something, you see it your way, and you think it's right, and that's completely fine because you're human. You can make mistakes, but another thing, uh, another piece of life is uh, get out of your own head or your own perspective. I swear, if you look through somebody else's perspective, not just your own, or just like, sometimes you're so in your head, like, that you don't realize what you're doing. Like, give you an example. You're, like, watching something. I don't, I don't, I don't have an example for it, but whatever. But, uh, slowly, I started to, like, like Sanji, because, I, I don't know, I just feel like, you know what, this guy... All the simping stuff, I still hate the simping stuff, but as a character, as a guy, like, yeah. Stand up for what you believe in. Uh, yeah, so, I don't really, I don't, I, and then after that, I just, I was just chilling, Sanji, Zoro, it was cool, everything was nice. I still like Zoro more than Sanji, but, you know, when... Uh, somebody hates on somebody so much, you start to like them. It's like Zoro fans hate Sanji so much, I started to like Sanji. Which is crazy, right? I started to like Sanji, even though I never thought I would come back to the day where I like this dude again. I still hate all the simping stuff. I said that before, but I, I hate that. I don't, I, it's, it's just like, it's just like, uh, but the thing about One Piece is the same shit keeps happening over and over again where, where, uh, where uh, the characters keep doing the same gags, where Luffy's just like the meat and the funny guy who just charges in every time he sees an island, you know? Zoro's the weirdo ass who just has the alcohol, whatever. Usopp's the funny guy. Chopper's the scaredy cat. Uh, Nami's the scaredy cat. But then all of a sudden, she starts beating Luffy whenever she wants, you know? Robin's the cool, calm, and collective. Sanji's just a simp. Brooke is the guy who laughs the same laugh every ten times in the same episode. Frankie, oh my god, oh my, Frankie has decreased, like, he used to be top five, now he's bottom, bottom two, bro, I hate Frankie. Frankie used to be so cool, post time skip, pre time skip, now he's just, he's just a meme, he's just, he's just for the kids, like, Chopper, ah, bro, like, One Piece, I don't know. It's slowly degrading out of my life. Like, I used to love this shit. Like, I used to really, like, enjoy it and look forward to it. But now, I feel like the thing why I just don't like it anymore is because I keep reading it week to week. And there are some good chapters, but some of these world-building chapters that I be reading or these character arc-building chapters, whatever you want to call it, I'm just bored out of my mind. And I just don't want to read it. It happens a lot when I get to a series where I'm just like... I'll 
read like 600 chapters 500 chapters whatever get to the like get to like the the finish line you know and then right when i get there i regret it all i'm like why did i go so fast i should have slowed down and then i have to wait for a week to week and it just sucks bro because some some shows are good week to week some manga are some are just not that's just it but thing about sanji overall uh dynamic between Sanji and Zoro, I mean, I don't really talk about that much, but they feel like, you know, they're always getting the job done. They're like the two sides of the same coin, you know? Zoro's the guy who's quiet and he and he fights for his for his people. You know, and Sanji's the guy who's out there. He's the white knight, you know? And Zoro's like the like the black knight. You know, he's it's like, you know, they're two sides of the same coin. They're basically the same type of characters, just they have different interests in life. Sanji wants to go see the All Blue. Zoro wants to be the greatest swordsman. They have different goals in life. People always, like, uh, look at them the same, but they're not the same. They're different. So, yeah, that's it.